Well everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review A Quiet Place Day 1. And this is a prequel for this A Quiet Place franchise. John Krasinski is no longer behind the camera. We have writer-director Michael Sarnowski, who you might know from the film Pig, that starred Nicolas Cage a few years ago. And this film focuses on Samira, played by Lupita Nyong'o. She's dying of cancer. She's in hospice. She winds up going on a trip to New York City and being trapped in the city when these aliens invade. The ones with ultra-sensitive hearing that plague the Earth just waiting to hear something creak for them to pounce and absolutely devour and destroy. And this film, I don't know if... There's definitely some really awesome horror moments in it. But I don't know if it fully embraces the fact that, like, you're in New York City. There's all kinds of different things that you can do with this. A lot of the thrilling moments have humongous sections of movie with none of it going on. And I get that if you're, like, in the middle of nowhere, like the first two A Quiet Place movies. But, like, this is still New York City. And I just feels like they didn't really capitalize as much on how much they could have been leaning into this. This also kind of feels eventually kind of familiar. This is the kind of thing where it's like it's not doing too many fresh things with like it's a very simple idea. You make noise, you get <laughs> and these creatures aren't intelligent or they're not like it's not that kind of thing where it's like you can expand upon this idea. It's it's a simple idea, and now this is the third movie they're doing it, and it's kind of the same thing. But Sarnowski does such a great job shooting this film. This is a gorgeous film. It's really well shot. The tension building really works. I do feel like this one has a lot of moments of, well, that makes no sense, or how the hell that happened? And... It makes it a little bit harder to buy into the logic of the story. What really works about this particular film is they do a lot of great legwork building up, say, one, this central character, Samira, and Lupita Nyong'o kills it. She is vulnerable, she is intense, she expresses everything, and that's what you have to do when you can't say anything. And her performance is incredible. Her arc is is fantastic and a woman dying put in a situation where she doesn't really have a whole lot of motivation to live anymore but then finds motivation to live in a situation where she's most likely going to die and this film navigates that in a fa fantastic way and leading up to a very cathartic payoff for this character in such a poignant and emotional way and just a fantastic way to wrap up this story. You have Joseph Quinn's Eric, who might be overacting a little bit at times, but his dynamic that he uh, develops with Nwango's Samira, you really buy into. And there's some wonderful moments with a lot of emotion. And I do have to feel like give credit to Alexi uh, Grapsis, who does the... Alexis Grapis, uh, Grapsis, who does the score, because this f score is very moving. And there's some really poignant emotional moments from a human perspective in this film. And also, Samira's cat's the MVP. That cat's freaking adorable. And nothing, it's like one of those things like nothing better happened to this cat. Except those cats will get you in trouble. And there's one moment in particular where it's just like, wow, this is ridiculous that this somehow got out of, like, nobody got killed in this situation. That's where some of the logic comes in, all because of that darn cat. But there's also really great other small moments with Alex Wolf's character, and Dainjin Hansu's character gets reintroduced in this film. He's not in it yet again that much, which I think he going to keep frustrating people because he's such a talented actor and he's been used so sparingly in these two Quiet Place movies he's been in. But he has some, he has a moment for sure in this film that's so challenging because 
it puts you in a really hard place, a moral dilemma. And this film knows how to do that. This works, I think, the most on a human drama level out of any of the three films up to this point. I just feel like it's starting to lack in the horror perspective. But there's some great filmmaking here, great character work, great performances, especially from Lupita Nyong'o. And by the end, it tells an engaging and good story. And I think it works, delivers in ways that... I didn't expect, and delivered fine enough in the ways that you wanted to in terms of this being a crazy, ridiculous alien invasion movie. But those are my thoughts on A Quiet Place Day 1. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.